In the name of Allah, the most merciful and most compassionate, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon his final and last messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and those who follow him on the path of righteousness until the last day. The following is a translation for the meanings of Sheikh Salih al suhaimis speech regarding the cause for the split and confusion among Salafi Muslims in the West. This short part was taken from a 45 minute plus audio, which I hope will be released in the very near future for all of the Muslims worldwide to benefit from. For anyone desiring to hear the entire audio, then it has already been made public for them to refer to. شيخ طاهر وايت أفضل من جاءنا من أمريكا أفضل من جاءنا من أمريكا سلوكا عقيدة أخلاقا أدبا ما تركوا شيء من الألوان السب اللي وقالوه فيه يمشي مع فلا فعل مع فلا قال مع فلا I will give you an example and please allow me to be frank with you since you have opened up this topic for discussion. Verily, Sheikh Tahir Wayat is considered from the best students to ever come to us in Medina with the best conduct, the best creed, the best mannerisms, and the best character. And the people, they haven't left off every kind of cursing and slander except that they say it about him. For example, they say he accompanies such and such, or he does this and that with such and such, and he says this and that with such and such. Wallahi, I masked Abu Khadija in London, and I said, "Give me a reason, one. Give me a reason, one, Abu Khadija. Let me be honest with you. He said, 'He is the one who is against the attack against the errors.' Abu Khadija." I swear by Allah, I myself, I approached Abu Khadijah in person in London and I took his hand strongly and I asked him to give me one shred of evidence about the things he says against Sheikh Tahir. Let me be frank, Abu Khadijah is the ringleader for this campaign against Tahir. You, meaning Abu Khadijah, you went to the scholars in order to stain the image of Tahir. <laughs> ونحن نشرب حليبي بالعلم طلعته برا ما هي أنا خارج للبرية وأخذت الأخ أبو خديجة معي قلت له تعال أعطني دليل واحد أنت جئت لمشايخ وشوشت على طاهر ها أعطني دليل واحدا قال ما أدري يمشي مع فلان قلت لا هذه ما تكفين هات كلمة بصوته أو بقلمه أنه يفعل بدعة أو يؤيد المبتدعة قال أبو علي حسن قلت هو لا يعرف لا علي حسن ولا أبو الحسن ولا من ماشيهم ولا يعرف عنهم شيء Give me one piece of evidence Give me a recording with his voice or something that he has written in order for me to be sure about the things that people say about him They say he supports the innovators so Abu Khadija began to stutter, for example, he said he did this and he did that. All we heard he was with Ali Hassan or Abu Hassan. I said, Wallahi. So I told Abu Khadija that Sheikh Tahir doesn't know Abu Hassan or Ali Hassan, nor does he have any relationship with them. Tahir Wayat, he is among the best person in Philadelphia, among the best people in Philadelphia I have ever known ever since I came there some years ago. I don't believe no one will be able to do the work of the knowledge 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 تجريح بعضهم في بعض ثم ربما أقنعوا بعض المشايخ بحكم ثقتهم فيهم ف... 
فيجرحون اخوانه هذا انا لا اقبله لا اقبله ابدا ممن قال به لا الذي ينال من مشايخنا الشيخ ربيع او غيرهم الشيخ عبيد مشايخ من الشيخ محمد بن هادي لا اقبل احد يغمزه او يتكلم فيه I don't allow anyone to hurt well-known students by mentioning their names in bad speech, especially when they are known among the scholars for having sound minhaj. There are some students who cause confusion between each other and between the scholars. I totally reject this kind of behavior in action. I don't like to see any form of disturbance coming from the students towards others, whoever they may be. The students who learn from our scholars like Sheikh Rabia, Sheikh Ubayi, and others like Sheikh Mohammed bin Hadi, I don't accept anyone to say something bad about them. In the same way, I don't accept anyone to say something bad about them. For example, some of the other students, which may be because of the pressure of some of the students, took them some of the other students. I don't agree with the other side. And Allah doesn't agree with the one who is this or who is this. I don't accept it. I don't accept anyone to say something bad about them. Or do I permit any of the scholars to criticize each other due to the disturbance and gossip from the students that scholars have taken positions against other Mashaykh? I don't agree with this. Wallahi, I don't agree with this approach. <laughs> Therefore, the solution is in your hands, all American Muslims. You should accept those who come from your people and is known to have sound minhaj. You must learn from him and accept what he says. <laughs> والله أنا زكيت شخصا أنا والشيخ ربيع مرة ولما رجع إلى بلده وإذا به مع خوارج التكفيريين وكل زكي. Furthermore, Teskia doesn't grant immunity. Every student and every student of knowledge and scholar has a Teskia. Sometimes things appear to me which cause me to praise an individual. Then on the next day, I discover that that person I gave a Teskia to has not an ounce of single good in him whatsoever. By a law. Me and Sheikh Rabia gave Teskia to someone, and when he returned to his country, we realized that he belonged to the Khawarij of Tekfiriyin. We all gave this person an outstanding, remarkable praise, me and Sheikh Rabia. We don't know what is in the hearts of people, but I said, don't allow this one to come or allow this one to come teach you due to the chaos and confusion that came from you there in Europe and America. And Morocco, forgive me for saying this. Then this person with no knowledge at all comes to me and he began criticizing the best student to ever come out of America. And this person goes to the senior scholars and may Allah grant them success and was able to convince them with his rhetoric. Why all this oppression? Anyone, 
This is oppression from you. I used to trust you and take your speech. However, you are an oppressor. I gave verdicts based on your speech. Therefore, I must be sure before I take a decision next time. When we go to America, Africa, Europe, we visit some Sufi Mashaykh and we invite them to Allah. So that is it? Will you throw us away because of this action? We visited some seculars. We visited some organizations inviting them to Allah. Oh brother, we had an educational seminar in Nigeria and in Senegal and Wallahi it was a dream for us to be able to have this seminar. When we first arrived, a channel from the TV station said the Wahhabis have arrived here to destroy your religion, so be careful. And by the ease granted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we were able to complete the Dawrah. 